Welcome everyone to another Showing Off. Today we're showing off Quants, or Quant Z. I prefer Quants. As you can tell, they have all sorts of fun, scriptic, runic thing characters. Let's jump in right away. Uh, you, there are three modes here, plus a tutorial mode. We're going to start in puzzle mode, because it's the... I don't know, just get to see the mechanics very quickly. And we'll show off the options next. So this is the game. Let's start here on the simplest one. This is sort of the tutorial thing. You move this little guy around. This is a cube, as you can see. And sometimes the cube will have divots or whatever. And you left-click to shoot marbles at it. The marbles are known as quants, and this is very much a match three... Well, not match three, but it's very much like a, a bobble type game. Bubble? Bubble? Bubblehead? Bubblehead? I can't remember the name of it. Sometimes, <clears throat> the little quants on the cubes can move around, which is a little frustrating, a little sometimes. Not always. Uh, and so you can just make them wander and collect them. If you shoot into a cluster of three, making a cluster of four or more, they pop like that. Which is very nice. But they can also burn. So, let's see. Here's one. Let's watch it pop into a fireball. If you have a single quants and you surround it with three others, like this, he's surrounded with three, and it's very important that they're actually all touching him. I'm not 100% sure about this. But, if there are three touching him, when the pop, he jumps off like that. And... That didn't really do justice to what a fireball is. A fireball is a way of chaining together combos. Oops, it's the same one. No, it isn't. It just looks like this. Use fireballs to burn light-colored quads. So, this time, like, remember last time he could move around? This time he doesn't move around. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to surround this guy. And use a fireball. And now... I've kind of paused it for a moment. It's not really paused. You can see the timer is still going in the upper left. But by holding left mouse button down when there's a fireball or a marble on its way down, you can rotate around and see all of space. And you see these really cool psychedelic magical things in the background. But you can also see the fireball and the color. And now look very carefully. In the middle of those four, ye the four white dots, there's a little yellow dot. That yellow dot is the aimer. When I let go of this, I'm going to move around the cube and try to get that yellow dot over these four guys right here. So let's see if I manage to be successful. And the fireball will burn like colored quants, just like the little tooltip said. So quants is a game about... I mean, in some ways, it's like that old-style bubble popper game that I can't remember the name of. Everyone's probably going, oh my god, you're so terrible. Um, but not, I'm not that terrible, guys. I promise. I promise I'm not. Okay, so here's what we have here. We've got, uh, this is going to send off a fireball. This one will send off a fireball, and this one will send off a fireball. This one will send off red, which we can use to burn and pop this one, which also will send off another fireball. We want that one to be blue so that we can burn and pop this one. And then the last one will be perfectly fine. So, watch. Boom. He comes down. That little electrical thing tells you where a fireball can be made. And boom. The last fireball automatically disappears if nothing is left on the board. Fireballs will also always take the last color of whatever is there. And so, if something, like let's say you got rid of all the purples, you can then use a fireball to get rid of... Like, if it's a purple color fireball and there's only yellows left on the board, all right, then. So, a single cluster can generate multiple explosions. So, this is... Can you arrange it correctly? <laughs> no, that didn't work out. Oh, no, get back over there. There we go. It didn't generate multiple explosions. It only generated one, but it still worked. You can see sometimes our cubes have little dents and divots on them. That just makes moving them around a little harder. I love the visual effects here of all that whoosh, 
whoosh, whoosh and stuff. So here we're going to move these guys uh, we all into little positions there. And we can do that just by very gently moving the cube around like that. We can also, I'll show you later, flip it around violently and make them go flying. So now if we do this, they all explode and since there's nothing left on the cube, they disappear. So this is puzzle mode. You're given a limited number of quants and a predetermined setup. You're trying to solve generally by working backwards. Yeah, like this one is a great example of working backwards. You've got to, it says up there, try to plan chain reactions of explosions. Okay, well, I could put a guy down there, which would make it three. He won't pop or anything. He'd just be ready to go. Uh, I could put him over here, which means that he, if I put a red down, this guy would pop. Uh, and I could put him over here, uh, which wouldn't be any good because if purple's right there, you can see there's no way to make a um, an explosion, a fireball. So purple has to go here, and purple has to go here. Maybe. Possibly. See what I'm saying? Okay, so if we... The thing is we want... Like, we don't have another thing. If we put a purple there and there, and a blue there, we're not going to be able to launch anything. So we'll put a purple here. That's a little hard to see, but... This is a really weird map that's actually very hard to maneuver on. We'll put a blue here. And now what's going to happen is we use this purple to hit the blue, to hit the yellow, to hit the red. Like that. And this is where being able to move in slow motion is really handy because you can reorient the cube a little bit and try to... Because as you can see, it can otherwise be very tricky to see what you're doing. So there you go. That's basically puzzle mode. There are two other modes, action and strategy mode. Action is like the old school, you know, it's like those bubble breaker games where you're shooting the marbles down and trying to get something. Boom. Hmm, that should have... It's okay. Pop all that at once. And strategy mode is a little different. Huh. Usually I, that has more explosions. Strategy mode is kind of like a mixture between action and puzzle. Let's do this last one here, just on initiate, so you can get a full idea of the way this explosion thing works, and that way I don't feel like we're leaving anyone out. Alright, so we've got that little blue guy, some blue guys up here, weird purpley green thing going on. So green and yellow. The only one that moves around is this blue guy. Oh, well that's weird. Well, we could go ahead and move the blue guy down uh, to the other blue, or we could move him down here to the yellow, which uh, is a better idea. So let's see if we can get him... Come on. There we go. Can I get you up a little bit? Ah, oh, there we go. See, that wasn't too hard. Okay, so where's where's purple going to go? Purple's going to go here and here. Burn green out. Yellow is going to go there, and there we go. So there's certainly, you know, a good puzzle mode. You have to, have to plan out your puzzles. When you finish one difficulty level, you move up to the next one. You may, you probably aren't able to see, but it's, it's probably too faint. There are actually other higher modes of difficulty here. So you go from Initiate, Apprentice, Clever, all the way up. Apparently the goal is to get to Oracle. But enough of puzzle mode. There are two other modes. Uh, of course, besides the tutorial, so let's look at action. So this is action mode. Uh, we've discovered a new world. Yellow. This wheel full of Greek letters and obnoxious tra trailing mouse effects. So here we go. Alpha, a world to learn. Incoming quants. And you can mouse over and see stats for each one. Um, you can see the name and a quick synopsis of what's in here. So Zeta, Theta, Cold World, Iota, Move Faster, Kappa, Nu, Omicron, Upsilon, Chi, Psi, and Kappa. Yeah, see? Let's go to Alpha. I love the visuals. 
So we've done this one already, hence we have our little Trojan helmet, and we have all these funky symbols out here. You can see what they mean if we mouse over them. Three colors cleared within the first minute, a single quants, all quants cleared within a minute, etc. And of course, there is one I haven't gotten, I'm not sure what that last one is. We earned a little emblem there. Whoosh! Spartan, fearless warrior, defender of the empire. Nice. Let's get started. Continue previous game. I don't know. Let's restart. Skulk. Alright, welcome to action mode. In action mode, See, this is what I mean about being able to flip guys over. So in action mode, they come automatically. And you get a little aiming cursor, and your goal is to just make matches. Like it is in those bubble games that I keep forgetting the actual names of. It's terrible. You can still make explosions. And the little electricity balls will try and tell you where explosions are. But it's up to you to actually aim them incorrectly, which is harder than it sounds. So we can pop that, and bring him over here, and maybe I'll get another explosion. Explosions are your combos, and sometimes you can actually get multiple explosions going on at once, which happened there, and then I kind of misused it. Down in the lower right, if you can focus on that long enough, you'll see there's a... Uh... Did I get that? Down the lower right, where the next bar is. Down. Oh, I can't point. Okay. I'm just gonna try and point at it. That doesn't work. Oh no. Oh, almost. Anyways, there's a little. Uh, just watch what happens as that shoots. Every time a marble or quants shoots down, I lose the little energy bar down there. The goal is, of course, to clear out the world before losing all that energy. The goal in the bubble games is similar, clear out the world before it, you know, eats you or something. Watch what happens to this yellow fireball. It'll turn blue, because blue is the only color left. And I'll get an achievement for that. Ta-da! Let's go on to the next wave. So action mode is not exactly, I don't know, actionful. A strategy mode seems to be my favorite so far, just because you can determine the speed of things. Oh, that didn't work. Action mode does require some skill. And while I do consider myself decent enough at this game, I wouldn't say I'm super awesome at it. Sad. That totally should have gone off. There you go. A pleasant little pop. We'll just get rid of these four. Fine by me. Lots of blues. Thank you. Here we go. We can pop this guy. And go burn this one. Even though I probably should burn those. Oh well. There is, as you can see, a little bit of strategy here. For example, we can use this guy to pop. And since we have blue coming down next, we'll take this blue and put him right here. And this will get rid of all the blues. Sends a purple up. Oh no! Ah, oh, crap, where did you come from? Oh, I hate you so much. You just... I'm just... I'm not. I don't really. But uh, that was annoying. It was very annoying. Come on. There you go. Yay! Blue quants cleared. Ah. I could have had both of them cleared, but now I just have to wait for this. Unfortunately, I've yet to find any way of speeding up this thing. So they do kind of go in very slowly, which I think is a... 
fault. I would like to see a space bar speed up type of keystroke, but I don't seem to have one. Every so often you'll get these Enigma waves where things don't move around. As you can see, I they're frozen, so they stay on the cube, and I've got to do something about it. Well, what can I do? I'm going to have a blue one come in, so I could use that blue one to blow up the central set. That will send purple ones flying up in all directions, but the purple will turn into other colors, which if I'm really good, I could get to land on each of those. I'm not sure I'm that good. Or I can knock them off one by one. Here we go. Get rid of those two. I like getting those just because you get that really cool voice. Wave 4, small vents. Whoosh. And they fall on. So, let's uh, go ahead and start here. I'll blow you up because you're a giant cluster. And blast the purples into oblivion and burn the rest of these purples. Blew up and see if we can get that. Nope. It's so hard to actually get them right sometimes, and the reason is because they're not arranged properly. Like this one is. Nope, it's not. I thought it was. Like right here, they're not arranged properly. So you have to shake them a little bit. There we go. Really don't like this right here. Yellow. Aha! I thought we had something to do with yellow. Now I can just move him over. Perfect. See, that wasn't really... I don't know, I didn't really consider that a thing, but... Ah. Go there. Can I get it? No, it's not. So sometimes you just wanna you're just like ah, and so you just do that. And of course, then you can move them around so you can see the entire cube. And now I've got a slightly better arrangement here and there. Those three are gone. I actually want to put you there, although that was not the best arrangement again. Go away. And so now I could take this and look around, see that there's not really a good place to go. So I just burn it right there. I'm going to send you right here. You had a chance of burning that yellow, but you didn't. Come on. Perfect! Burn. And burn. Alright, so there we go. That's action. Let's take a look. At this point, you can just go ahead and um, leave. This goes to your main menu. This shows the general rules of action mode. These are the everyone's things, and there's you can see the controls. Oh look, hold right mode, quick drop, never worked. Crap. Oh well. <laughs> I feel silly now. So let's just go back to the main menu since I've been so silly. We get to see cool effects, and let's look at strategy mode while we still have some Actually, hold on. Before we look at strategy mode, I forgot to show you the options menu. See, this is how I get you in. So options, not a lot of graphical options. You've just got your... You have some music, which is a very interesting scale. You've just got... I 
I love the music. Sound effects, video mode, full screen HD, I figure is what we should use. Textures, I can totally do high textures. Colorblind aid, I thought this was interesting. That you can have an aid for people who are colorblind. Uh, which is very important, but I've never seen it before on other games, so that's like, no, that's really cool. And of course, it's speed and language from your mouse and stuff, so not a ton of options. I'm not sure what other people think, but I really like this one available. That's really cool. So, okay, so now let's do strategy. You did see an achievements thing down there. That takes you to the Steam achievements page. Alright, so strategy mode works kind of the same way as action mode in that there are different worlds. Each world has a certain number of waves in it. And, uh, blah, 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 blah. You can see they go around via the Greek letters again. Delta, Epsilon, Lambda, Mu, Psi, Pi, Rho, Sigma, Tau, Phi, or Phi, and Omega. This one seems to be all the, like, science-y ones. Alright, let's go to Beta. Whoosh! Ooh, we get... Ares, Golden Ram, Rescuer of Fixos. Hmm. Good to know. It's the same sort of symbols here, but arranged differently. Because they're very sexy. Also, the script that they use in the background, I'm pretty sure, is not Greek. You can take a closer look if you want, pause it at some point. So, it looks the same, but this time you're given a limited number. You'll see here I have now a Q, and I can select them and send them in any time. So, but again, it, it's otherwise similar to action mode where I can just move things around. It's not a puzzle. What's different about action mode and strategy mode, though, one major difference, is that the fireballs only come up one at a time, even if you generate multiple fireballs. Whereas in action mode, if you generate multiple fireballs, good luck getting them all down. So here, there is, in theory, some strategy, but... Mostly, for me, that means getting rid of stupid tiny clusters like that. And then popping and using these wisely. Which is, of course, easier said than done, as is usually the case with things. Let's pop those. And... Fireball these. There we go. And you saw I, I very quickly whipped that yellow one around. I'm going to do the same with this blue one, because the single guys are just annoying. And they're by themselves. Okay. So make you ready to pop. Can I wiggle you around a little bit? No. Oh, and I unwiggled you. Okay, there we go. You're back to the correct orientation. Let's go ahead and pop you before something happens. Pop you. Pop you, and now we'll look around and see purple is where we wanted to go. We'll go over here, but not uh, wasn't able to get rid of purple completely, which is a shame. Let's try and see if I can't coagulate these a little bit. Now you are still timed, um, but no one's gonna come down and interrupt you while you're trying to maneuver these things around. Which is good, because maneuvering these things around is kind of annoying. We'll bump you down. Is that the last yellow? That's not the last yellow. Of course. It'd look far too good at this game if that were the last yellow. <laughs> Come on. Come on. It's okay. Fine. Good enough. Pop you. At least now everyone's stuck here. Yellow. Definitely not as good as the. <laughs> not as good as my action mode runs. But let's continue and take a little bit more look here. It's a pretty simple game. So most of the. Like most of this looks the same. It's mostly just practice and as it gets you ready for the harder modes. Now, one thing I do like to do is. Um, look at that. Anyways, one thing I do like to do at the start of some of these is shake them up first. I didn't do that this time around, but I found that shaking them up first sometimes gives you a uh, 
little bit of an edge. But nope. Okay, another yellow one. Just bring it down here. And let's bring the purple blue in. Blue and that purple wave. Right there. Watch this. Yellow. Poipo. Oh no, yellow's not quite gone. That's okay. Oh my goodness, where have you been? Stupid yellow. Cubes having multiple sides. There we go. Alright. Aha, last one. The Enigma. I was waiting for this. The timer went off. I'm like, oh no, I want to get the Enigma. Okay, so Enigma with strategy mode is probably my favorite because you get to really think it's a just kind of a it's just a big puzzle, that's all it is. It's just a really big puzzle. So what do we want to do here? Well, we want to do that, and then maybe that one, and I'm just kind of putting these in every which way. Let's see here. We've got one, two blue explosions, two pink explosions. We'll have two yellow explosions. Currently, how much... Let's see, if we send off... That blue goes up there, pops the pink. I don't know. It'll work out. Everyone's primed. There obviously is a correct thing. But the nice part is that if you need to get rid of something. Oh, well, we didn't do it in a minute, but that's okay. It is still pretty impressive. Still pretty impressive. Okay, so. That's Quants. That's Quants. Lovely little game. Amazing graphics. Great sound. It's available on Steam for $10. And it's... I think it's a pretty good deal. You get a lot of stuff here. Some of the action gets a little repetitive, I think. But they do incorporate more elements. They'll put more colors of Quants in there to keep things lively. And there are special quants that I've not seen yet and that we didn't have any time to show in the video. Anyways, uh, the, there's white quants which take on the color of a quants that they hit. There are black quants which can only be gotten rid of by explosions. And there are frozen quants which we've seen before, they don't move. So, in many ways, it's very similar to the old uh, 2D bubble shooter games that may or may not. That, that's very similar to the bubble shooter games, that's all I'm gonna say there. And it's just more interesting, because it's 3D, kind of, sort of, kind of 3D. And it just looks really pretty, so it makes you think you're doing really well. I love the sound effects, the vocals in the background, really nicely done. So yeah, Quants. If you enjoyed bubble shooters, this is the next level. Also Greek, and nice musics. Like I said, it's on Steam for $10. And as always, keep on trotting.